adventurers, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK, and this is Home Ed Video Night. Today we're going to address some Home Ed FAQ. Number one, what is home education? Well, home education is when parents choose to take full responsibility for their children's education and not outsource it to something like school. In, this ca in my case, it's that I am essentially my children's teacher. I do all of their teaching with the help of my husband when he's home. Um, and that's it. Number two, is it legal? Yes, it's legal. I hear this so often. So many people are asked this. Yes, it's legal. In all areas of the UK, it is 100% legal. Different countries in the UK have different laws, but it is definitely legal. All you need to do is check up section 7 of the Education Acts 1996. It states that parents have a duty to provide their children with an education that is suitable to their age and ability at school or otherwise. That or otherwise bit means that you have the right to home educate your child. Number three, why do you home educate? I'm asked this so often and I always use two reasons. Now there's probably 50 reasons as a bare minimum, but the two I use most often are at least two of my children are, are autistic and one has autistic traits. Believe me, it is way easier for my kids to get an education through me than it is for them going to school. They don't have to socialise all the time. They do socialise a lot, but they socialise on their terms. At school, they would not be able to do that. And the second reason I always give is that when Charles was two years old, he was already naming and drawing all of his shapes. He could already write his name. He could already count to 20 and write all those numbers. He was doing the reception curriculum at home with me. I spoke to some local schools and I asked them what they would do with him if, they con if he continued learning in this rate at that rate. They said that either he would just do it all over again or in an extreme case, he would be moved up a year. Neither of those options were right for him. So we made the decision to home educate. With the other two, by that time it was a lifestyle choice. This was our life, this is what we loved, this is what we were passionate about, so everyone's home educated. Number four, do you need qualifications? No, you do not need any qualifications, you do not need to be a teacher, you just need to be confident. You just need to have confidence in yourself that you are capable of educating your children. You taught them to walk, you taught them to talk, you helped them learn to sit up, you did all of these things. Why are you not capable of teaching them everything else they need to know? When you were thinking of ways to encourage them to walk, I bet you looked up on the internet of ways to encourage them to walk, or you asked people for help, or you bought them a baby walker, equipment to help them learn what they needed to learn. Exact Home education is exactly the same thing, it's just a continuation of that. If you need sk new skills to teach them something else, you learn it and then you teach it to them. It's simple. Number five, how do I start? Well, that depends. Is your kid in school right now or have they <coughs> never been to school? Because they've never been to school, you don't have to do anything except start teaching them. If they are currently in school, you need to send you need to send a deregistration letter to your kid, children's school explaining that you would like them to be removed immediately from the school role. You don't need to say why. You just need to confirm, make sure that they've, they confirm the receipt of that letter. You don't need to agree to any meetings. You just need to demand, essentially, that they remove your child from the role. If they say that they can't do that without having a meeting, they're lying and they're breaking the law. You've asked them to move, you've asked them to remove the child from off, off of their school role. They need to remove their child, the child immediately. Number six, do you use a timetable? Yes and no. Many people don't. Many people just do what they want when they want. We have an idea of what we would like to do each day. So we do English and maths, Tuesday through to Friday, and then occasionally on the weekends if we miss one of the days. And then we do our unit studies throughout the week. So kind of have a timetable, I guess, but not, it's not religious, it's not strict. If we don't do something, if we just decide to take a week off, then we just take a week off and that's fine. Number seven, is there any financial help? Unfortunately, no. That money that's earmarked by the government to send my kids to school, they keep it. We don't get any anything. However, 
Some councils do have help for exams and things. Ours do, for example, they will fund a certain amount of GCSEs for your child. Number eight, are you monitored? We aren't, no. Some people are. Some people are on a home education register. If your child has been in school and deregistered, then they will be on a register automatically. Our children have never been to school. So as, I'm, as far as I'm aware, they are not on the home education register. Um, the monitoring would probably consist of them coming into our home and assessing what we're doing. A perfect stranger coming into our home would upset my children immensely. As any autistic person knows, someone's spa their space being invaded by a complete stranger who potentially doesn't agree with what they're doing is going to be very traumatic. I hope that we will never be monitored and if we do I will take my children to the people or meet them somewhere neutral rather than let them into our house. Number nine, what's de-schooling? Well de-schooling is the process of basically getting them out of the habit, getting your child out of the habit of school they suggest that you de-school for one month for every one year your child has been at school. So if your kid is in year six, then they should have six months of doing absolutely nothing. De-schooling means just chilling. Let them be a kid. Let them play, 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 play. They want to play on the Xbox all day, then they play on the Xbox all day. They want to read books all day, They want that's fine. They want to go to the park every day for three hours, then you go to the park every three day for three hours. Obviously, within reason, it has to suit your family. But realistically, they need to get out of the habit of school. They need to chill. Coming straight out of school and going straight into doing the national curriculum at home is not home educating. They need, you. you both need to change your mindset. For me, that was de-schooling myself as well before I then started really homeschooling my children. I went through all of the years of school, so really I needed 13 months of no, we are, you know, we are home educating now, but we are not home educating now. It's one of the reasons we decided that we wouldn't give our children sit down work until they were six or seven. So they do like a reception kindergarten thing for a little bit longer just to give them more time to mature. This has worked really, really well, especially for Charles who at five could not read and was really, really struggling at even the thought of reading. Now eight, he's a fluent reader and fully caught up to where he would be compared to his peers who go to school. However, he only actually started learning to read a year ago. Number 10, and our final one, do you follow the national curriculum? Well, yes and no. We follow the national curriculum for English and maths. Both, both of the things we use are in line with the national curriculum and often used by schools. Also, our unit studies, a lot of the stuff comes from, again, resources that are in line with the national curriculum. However, we don't actually teach the national curriculum. We don't teach everything that's in it we kind of pick and choose what's best for us from it. Um, there are things that my children are interested in and there are things that they aren't and it's just not suited to them 100%. If you have any more questions about home education, please leave me a comment or pop over and say hi on Instagram. I would love to do another video answering your personal questions. Have a great evening. See you later. <laughs>